Hey everybody! It is time for another vlog update. Few new things been going on, got a few things brewing in my head, and I'm back home for a while, so I thought I would talk about a few things, what's been going on, and a few things I got coming up that I would really like to work on. So the other day I went on down to VIP and I bought a couple of things and I thought I would talk about them for a little bit, a few Let's Play ideas, and a few little... Well, for one thing, I have a new series in mind I'm going to start doing pretty soon. So, let's talk about the first game that I bought. I bought uh, four uh, four kind of old-school games. Uh, one that's somewhat new, probably came out a couple of years ago. I had some interest in that... Um, yeah. First game is Cade Icarus Uprising for my 3DS. Played a little bit of it the other night. Ooh, boy, I'm not digging this game mechanically. No, I am not. Um, basically, um, it's an on-rail shooter. You have parts where you're flying, and then you have parts when you're on the ground. A lot of it, you have to use the touch screen with your uh, with your little stylus. I'm really not digging it. It's I'm really not liking the way this game works. I mean, at least the controls are simple enough. I mean, uh, you control your camera uh, with your stylus when you're on the ground, and basically you target with your stylus, and then you can just hold down the L trigger, and you'll just shoot at anything and everything. And you'll have charge shots, and then you can have uh, up-close melee attacks as well. I haven't been able to get the melee attacks to work all too well. You know, and then you can turn the camera with your stylus, and then you just move around with the, uh, with the controller. But because it's such an odd feeling, it's not... It's not going to be anything I'm going to be able to get used to anytime soon. Uh, I've already beaten about two levels, fought two bosses with it. There was no level difficulty, so everything just feels way too easy. And then a lot of the dialogue, you can't really hear over all the sound and all the effects and then all the music. And then all the subtitles are on the bottom screen, but because all your attention is focused on the top screen, where the game is going on, you don't know anything that's being said, not that it matters, because a lot of the dialogue is pretty goddamn terrible and stupid. And uh, it just doesn't feel that interesting. I'll keep playing. I mean, hell, I paid 20 bucks for it, so I might as well just keep playing. Um... So far, it's not really anything that's really got my interest. I mean, it did kind of have my interest. I am a fan of the old school Kid Icarus. Granted, that game is really not aged very well, and it's pretty damn hard. But I'm a fan of the character. But so far, really meh so far. But I'll keep playing it. As long as if I can hold my attention, I'll keep playing and this next game I had never heard of, actually, and I found this over at VIP. Kickmaster. From what I understand, it's a side-scrolling uh, action beat-em-up game. Uh, I'll probably do a couple of blind Let's Plays on it. Uh, I've heard the controls on it are pretty simple, and, uh, and that you learn new moves and new attacks and new power-ups and such like that, so... That definitely has my attention. So, we shall see about Kickmaster. We shall see about that one. This other one I remember playing. I uh, I remember renting when I was a kid. But I just wasn't able to get into it, so I'm going to try and give it a second try. That is Secret of Evermore for Super Nintendo. It's very much... Uh, obviously, it's an RPG. I mean, it's Square. It's Squaresoft. Or Square Enix, as they like to call themselves now. I mean, is it just me, or did Square Enix just became like they changed drastically too much the second they became Square Enix? Mostly just because, mostly just in terms of uh, character design 
and the way a lot of their games really started looking, and more especially playing. I mean, I kind of preferred them when they were just square soft, but oh well, that's just me. So you can look forward to this possibly being in a few other Let's Plays. We shall see. We shall see. And then, last but not least, this is another game from my youth I remember playing. I remember the TV show. I remember not thinking too much about the TV show, and not thinking that much about this game after I played it. But I figured, maybe I can get some material out of this. Phantom 2040 on Super Nintendo. The only other Phantom I remember that is, of course, related to this was... Was it 95 or 96 that that movie came out? Because there was the Phantom movie with, um, what's his name? I'm trying to remember uh, the quote from the film uh, Zoolander when they actually call him by name. Billy Zane. Billy Zane, a big purple leotard white, riding on a white horse. Yeah, because that's not silly at all. I remember seeing that movie. I didn't go see it in the theater or anything like that. I mean, the movie just looked dumb. I mean, it looked terrible to me. I mean, even as a kid. I mean, I didn't even like the movie The Shadow as a kid. I remember thinking, this is... This is dumb. This is stupid. But, uh, and yet, uh, I like the movie Dark Man. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um... Maybe this game will be a little bit different... Who knows, but uh, I definitely do plan on doing uh, doing some Let's Plays on this. So, lots of Let's Plays planned. Uh, I, I can't do any Let's Plays uh, on my 3DS, because I don't have anything for that. And from what I understand, if you want to try and capture footage off of your 3DS, it's something that's incredibly expensive, and I guess technically illegal. I don't really know. I can only speculate. And I can only tell you what I can afford, and more than likely, I could never afford it. So that's never going to happen. So the big series that I that I want to do, um, I got in contact uh, with a Photoshop artist who goes by the name of Quick Kick. I see him a lot uh, on Rage Select. Uh, he used to be on Spill, which was where I originally knew him from. I wouldn't say we're friends or anything like that. I mean, we've only spoken for a little bit, and I actually just asked him to do this, and astonishingly, he said yes. Because uh, I wanted to do a do a series on uh, on a series of uh, X Men games related to one character right behind me there. The series is going to be called Animantium Rage. I'm going to take a look at uh, a lot of old Wolverine games, and he did. My friend uh, Quick Kick did a really really cool image. For me, and I'm going to put it up for you right now. It's pretty badass looking. So, I'm going to try and do this series uh, as much as I can. It'll probably only be four episodes, because those are probably the only four Wolverine games that I have. There is the other one on the original Nintendo. I remember only playing it briefly, but I'm sure it still sucks. So, we shall see... We shall see. So that's what we got going on, or at least that's what I got going on. Uh, maybe a future podcast, uh, maybe in the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't know if we ever will do the Metal Gear discussion, if we ever will get that finished. Uh, it's actually kind of sad now, because when I think about it, I think actually that episode was probably properly recorded, I just couldn't get to it through said program. I guess I just had to open the actual file and then go in and look for it. But because I didn't know that's how it worked, because usually after I record something, it's just prominently displayed. And when it was prominently displayed, I tried to play it, and it just wouldn't work. So I figured, well, great, my recorder fucked me over. <sighs> so, kind of wish I hadn't deleted it now, because... Could imagine if I could go back and play it. It was probably all there. Oh well. But I haven't heard back from Luke. So I don't know if that ever will happen. It's a shame, because I don't have any other friends who were probably at all familiar with the Metal Gear series. I mean, other than myself. 
and I don't want to talk to myself about the Metal Gear series. So, yeah. Um, more than likely, maybe we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Uh, I'll look into whatever video game or movie news, and maybe we'll talk about it. Until I can think of something else. Um, I'm going to try and get my friend Brandon over this weekend. Maybe we can try and finish up our playthrough of Shaq Fu, because we never did get to do uh, any versus stuff with that. So there's that, and uh, pretty much that's it. So I will see you guys next time, and I'm going to try and uh, do, as, do as many of these other Let's Plays as I can, and try and gather up some more footage. So until then, see you guys around.